Hi, Pisces. This is your tarot reading for the month of April. <laughs> right as I was saying, hi, Pisces. Spirit was giving me a uh, Saturn energy, which is, um, you definitely have energies going on with some communication for you. And I'm feeling like it's actually speaking about Mercury communication. Mercury is going to be moving into Aries, which is a new, it's a new beginning. Um, it doesn't move in until the 11th. Um, because technically we're at the beginning, we're coming into the beginning of um, a new year, starting you know, with Aries energy. Mercury is moving in on the 11th, but what I'm getting is, let me check here. Da, 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 yeah, for you, that's your third house. Is You've got a lot of conversation going on in your third house with your core energy, which is, you know, your illumination, your shine, your view, your image, your core. Communication with yourself. That speaking to you of your own soulful spiritual completion, your own spiritual soulful fulfillment and achievements, but it's based off of the communication you have with yourself about your inner truth and then how you express that into the 11th house, which happens to be the uh, goals, dreams friends, memberships, community. And do does the community, the friends, the memberships you're part of support, truly, deeply support the goals, dreams, ambitions that you're, you know, wanting to see come to light? And what rules, walls, and boundaries are you going to have to put up or shift and actually communicate in order to make that fulfillment, that completion, that achievement, you know, come forward. And it's going to be dealing with Leo energy. And for you, Leo energy is that sixth house, which means <clears throat> some of this is going to have to do with your everyday daily tasks, your mundane. And the mundane is never mundane. It's the most magical of it because we overlook it. And in this case, it could be the groups, the communities that you're part of. It could be speaking to you about what it is you are not saying. You know, where you're not putting proper rules, walls, and boundaries, or you're not shifting them properly so that you actually get and receive the achievements you wish to see happen within your goals, your dreams, your ambitions, your desires. And... Are the right people in place to help support that in your life? And really, like, I, I'm really getting the fact that, that what's happening is they're making my teeth hurt. And the teeth is a barrier from your mouth to the outer world. And so this is saying what you're most likely not saying. Or maybe you need to change the way you're saying it because it's not getting through properly. It's not being perceived by the others the way that you may wish for it to, desire for it to. But this is definitely speaking to you about having, you know, taking action. And it is in the moon energy as well. So I'm getting it with some, um, I guess, fears, anxieties, doubts of what it is that you have to say. But if you don't say it, then it, nothing's going to change. And this is definitely restabilizing the root chakra. Where is Gemini for you? Because they're giving me that. That's your fourth house, your inner emotional securities. And Vista and Venus are going to be in Gemini, your inner emotional securities. Yeah, like I said, this is definitely setting new ground rules. New ground rules. Checking in with your own security. 
providing your own security for you, your safety for you, because you're you're able to grow and speak what needs to be spoken to that outer community. With compassion. But without putting yourself last. You may be noticing this, especially around the full moon, around the 7th, a little before, a little after. And the Mercury is going to move into Aries on the 11th, which is your second house of your self-worth, self-value, self-esteem. And that might be where you start to really feel the communication shift, where you're able to speak it more. Really tapping into your intuition, your depths, your truth. And then being able to really project out what it is you want to see. And that is how you're going to make these changes, is what I'm getting. Okay, well, what's coming forward is butterfly deck. Butterfly deck by Doreen. Talk to me about Pisces. For the month of April. Pisces. Okay. Nope. Pisces for the month of April. Was you an accident? You wasn't. Pisces for the month of April. They're not letting me move forward until I go over this. This is parental care. Now, this may be speaking to you directly about, you know, parents, loved ones. And taking care of them, yes. But this also may be speaking to you, if you are a parent, about, you know, these boundaries that you need to be setting. And as a parent, your role, your responsibility in this. And then how is it affecting you? And what is right from what is wrong? Very deeply taking a new look from a parental, a parental role. Let's see. Maybe talking to you about, you know, also you know, taking authority in your own life. Because parents are authority in a form. <clears throat> Volunteer. Let me see where this is going. Hey, seriously. For Pisces. I'm about to grab another deck. I always try to show you the cards in case you're interested in buying them. Can you please clarify this parental care and volunteer for me? For the Libras, can you please clarify this volunteer and parental care for, for Libra? Maybe there's a Libra of significance because this is Pisces. This may be speaking, if I said Libra also, of actual justice. How much justice is in the situation? This is reaping the completion, crossing the past from the future. So this may be saying, you know, the difference between 
being the parent versus being the volunteer, being the person with authority versus being, you know, there and helping out. You may be finding there's a line here um, between the past and the future, the shifting of the change, uh, the harvest, the beginning, the satisfaction, satisfying point of, you know, making this shifting change in one form or another. Let me see what else this deck has to say. Because I feel very much vague. Like, I'm getting very vague answers. There may be a Scorpio of significance. It could just be the transformation that's taking place in your life. The end of something, the beginning of something new. Because I was being given completion. Something's shifting at the end of the month. Something is definitely going to go into overdrive and make a major shift at the end of the month. From what I am getting. Like, that's when you're going to be, I don't want to say, like, I'm freaking done with it, but that's where you're going to be like, all right, now, let me, let me put things into proper perspective for you people. At that point is what I feel like something is really going to take a shift. Tower, what was I just saying? Something at the end of the month is definitely making something come to a shifting change. Something is definitely coming to an end and a new beginning is coming in. And in this deck, the tower speaks to you also of humility, liberation, the all-seeing eye itself. It is releasing of your pride. As well as, you know, your typical tower energy. Where is this going to go? It's going to have everything to do with some kind of new communication. Um... So, uh, this is Five of Wands, which is coming with the Princess of Cups. And together, it's, like I said, it's another tower moment. Saturn, Conflict, Tower, Leo, Energy, Confessions, Disorder, Chaos, Strife. I said I felt Leo was coming in earlier. It's also your sixth house. It's, that, uh, it's your everyday mundane task. And the tower of the eye itself up here is illuminating for me. You're going to see something that's going to make you go, yeah, I'm done. I'm not. I'm, this is changing, and this is the way it's going to be. Um, something is going to come out that's really going to make you trust in your inner waters and say, that's it. I'm trusting my intuition, and this is going to be a brand new shift. I'm leaving that behind. Something is definitely coming out. It may be a Leo of significance, maybe pushing it forward, making the chaos be broken, making this disorder show itself. That could be a positive thing because Leo is also a strength card, but it could also be the Leo pushing you against the wall. Um... But either way, it's going to be okay because you have the Princess of Cups. She's very at home with her uncertainty. She's very at home with the unknown. She's very, the because this could be, you know, a water sign. Could be you. Definitely, it feels more like it's you. Coming into that shifting change from this to this and allowing the change to happen but there's a leo of significance or it's definitely the daily mundane tasks of your everyday routines that is showing you this shit has to change some 
disorder, some chaos, some strife. Something's coming up that's forcing this tower to push new, new rules, new walls, new boundaries. Because like I said, I'm getting <coughs> Saturn energy, and this is Saturn energy as well. This five of wands is Saturn energy as well in Leo, which, like I said, something's forcing you to see it. The Leo may be there standing by you, helping you to see it and make the changes and then you'll be more comfortable with it. But it may just also be the Leo's pushing. It depends on, you know, what is going on. What is the ending result? It's a star card. An Aquarius of significance. Or it could just say that this tower trusting in it and the change trusting in sh the, the Leo may be showing you all the crap that you have to deal with that that's not acceptable it may be showing you in a way that's helpful and it may be showing you in a way of you need to be taking out of my life in one form or another but either way the tower is happening it is going from from the past to the present. Something is definitely moving forward. New rules, walls, boundaries are being set. Trusting in your intuition. Trusting in your inner waters. Trusting in the shifting change. But it's bringing you a star card. Which is, you know, your dreams. It's, it's your dreams coming true. Um, it is the shining truth of light. It is coming out of the darkness. It is... You know, the blessing. It is the hook, the line, the sink. I always say the star card speaks to us of, in Hebrew, the hook. Um, and the way that it is explained to me is, is when you go fishing and you throw your line out into the water to go fishing, well, you're not trying to hook the smallest fish in the sea. No, you want a good fish for dinner. So this is hooking on to what is going to bring you everything you want by releasing this tower, releasing that conflict, making the new changes, trusting in it, and allowing the star to come forward. This is a very good thing, but I feel like you're going to be seeing it throughout the whole month, and it's not going to actually take, it, take place until closer to the end of the month. When it's going to be like, that's it. That's it. And I feel like it's where you're going to actually stand your ground. Like, you're going to be in limbo until then. Pisces. The world. Yeah, you have a major shift coming in. Tower in the beginning. The world. The star card. Major arcana is coming up. Self-realization. Individual soul purpose. Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius coming out. It's definitely a fixed energy. Um, blooming, expanding. It is harmony with you. The world of spirit. Trusting in your intuition. Again, allowing... The shift to happen. It seems like it's a very good thing. Is there anything here? Yeah, I'm getting a lot of root chakra, a lot of crown and third eye. They just warn you to keep the faith. Keep the faith, trust in the process. Keep the faith, trust in the process. <laughs> Relationship dynamics are shifting and changing and you're about to see a new truth. The changing of your mind, it's acceptable. Everything changes in life. Everything changes in life. This is how we grow.
It feels like this is going through all areas, so I'm not specifically asking for anything. Temperance. Yeah. This month is saying that there is major shifts going on. It's going to take throughout the whole month for it to happen. Keep your eyes open. Realize that you are going to be setting new rules, walls, and boundaries. Um, but I do feel... I feel like a lot of this energy is going to be caused by Pluto at the end of the month. On the 25th, Pluto is going to be going retrograde. And Pluto is death, decay, and destruction for new renewal, rebirth, and regeneration. And I feel like as Pluto turns retrograde, this has been in temperance that you've been observing, you've been handling, you've been dealing with it. But it's really not meant to continue to happen you know, you're going to find it's going to grow into that tower. You're going to find I'm ready to let that shit go. You're going to find either that Leo is going to push you in the right direction or be the final breaking point, more or less. You're going to be ready to trust in the changes. I feel that when Pluto goes retrograde on the 25th, death, decay, and destruction, renewal, rebirth, regeneration, it's for spirit, for your own soulfulness. I feel like it's going, well, now I'm going to kick in the door and make you have to do it. So something is changing. And the Leo is a significant part. Um, I just don't know if it's, if the Leo energy is there to back you up or if it's talking about your everyday mundane tasks because it is your sixth house. And it could be saying, like I said, you have your outer community. The structure is about to shift. And it has everything to do with you speaking up with those rules, walls, and boundaries that you need to speak out and make that change from your own inner emotional security of what will serve you and what will not and how that's going to help. But you're going to be in temperance of it right up until I feel like Pluto is going retrograde when it's going to be like, that's it, I'm done. I'm done. Because Pluto is, you know, like, God kicking the door down saying, that's enough. And that would be the tower coming in. <clears throat> but the tower is bringing you a blessing. So allow it to happen. I love you guys. Bye.